What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. It's August 11th and it's midnight right now. This is the first day that Madden 22 is going to be live. I'm actually on Madden 21 next gen right now, but I wanted to share this little pro tip with you. Um, as I observed this being true both in next gen and in Madden 22 as I was watching some film today of some of the EA game changers that uh, got early access to the game. Now again, like I said, I want to encourage you to subscribe. We do videos every day that can help you get better. We're going to be streaming all night tonight when Madden 22 comes out. And also, if you want to get my free offenses and defenses that I release every single week, all you have to do to sign up for that is to join my text message membership. Text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. And for those of you that are looking for some Madden 22 guides, I'm going to be, my goal is by the end of the weekend to have two different offenses for you and two different defenses for you, okay? So be sure to stay tuned to the channel for all of that content. Now I wanted to kind of just show this little tip here. It's real simple, um, but it's really, really valuable in my opinion. And it's really for the offensive side of the ball. It doesn't require Gunslinger. It does, in some formations, require Hot Route Master. But it's basically the fact that the table route is back this year. And I want to share you with you kind of how you can use this table route um, to your advantage. So I'm just going to use a double zone sale play here from the New England Patriots playbook. And then what I'm going to do on defense um, is I'm just going to um, select a random uh, a random nickel. Um, so just any any nickel defense doesn't really matter. And you can run this to the short side of the wide side of the field. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to give you an actual route concept that you can use with this too. Um, this is very this was very effective in next gen. Um, it's actually better in next gen than it was in current gen. Current gen the tail route was good, but it wasn't dominant. <laughs> And in next gen, especially in Madden 22, I believe it's going to be dominant. Like I said, I was watching some film on this um, with AntCap, KMac, and a couple other the streamers, uh, Chaos as well. And I just noticed that this was super, super effective. So I wanted to go over it with you guys. So it's all about timing with this route. But basically, you're just going to snap the ball. And when he cuts to the sideline, that's where you're going to throw it. And what you're going to see here is it's pretty much a guaranteed five yards, regardless of what the defense does. Whether they man it up, whether they zone it up, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you how to throw this if, they, uh, if I see a, a cover two look here in just a second. But look at how that little route, you see how the cloud flat doesn't really um, cover it. The primary reason for that is because of this tight end corner. Now a way that you can actually get this route to become a little bit more open is by these two adjustments right here. You see that I'm putting the square receiver on a fade and then I'm putting the triangle receiver on a drag and I'm just going to motion them over just like this. And what you're going to see is this is going to create a little bit more spacing. And as you see, I'm still going to be able to throw that snap throw. Whether they play hard flats, whether they play zone drops, whether it, it, it doesn't matter what they do. As long as you understand how to make this throw. And it is a little bit different depending on the coverage. Against man coverage, most coverages you're going to want to wait um, until he makes his cut. And once he makes his cut, that's where you're going to want to throw it, as you can see right there. I've had a ton of success with this. I actually played a couple of um, money games on Next Gen and literally just ran this play the entire game just to test this out against top competition. And I was noticing that it was just darn near impossible to stop. But the way the user is, is you see how they sit on it there, but then I can just basically wait. And as you can see, this is an automatic five yards every single time. This doesn't, um, this also does not really think about the fact that there's so many other concepts that we have available. We have these corner routes, and these corner routes are super, super effective um, against match as well as against zone drop, which you see right there. Those corner routes are deeper. And in Madden 22, at least from what I've been labbing, I've noticed that the corner routes are a little bit different than they were last year. And so that's just something to get used to, um, almost to kind of unget used to. But as you see here, that little table route right there is so effective. Again, it's just something simple. It's a five yard route, uh, most plays. Um, but this is also something that is really good against the blitz. It makes it borderline impossible to blitz the triple side end formation, in my opinion, because this table route right here, if they blitz me off the edge, um, and right there I threw it, that's, that's an example of throwing it too early. And you really gotta be careful with that because if you see man coverage and you throw that early, you will throw an interception. So if it's zone, you wanna throw it early normally. And if it's man, uh, you wanna kinda wait on it. Even against zone, you kinda wanna wait on it. But as you see right here, it's just simple. It's three to five yards every single time. Most of the time you're gonna get more than that. Um, most of the time you're gonna notice that they're just not uh, gonna cover that when it cuts to the sideline, just like that right there. You turn it up field and you've got you know seven to ten yards so this table route is something that i think should be added um, to every single offense in the game uh, another thing that you can do if you want to is you can actually if you have a tight end apprentice 
um, you can put this little hot rotted corn around on. It's going to be a little bit sh more shallow, um, but a little bit sharper. It's kind of a little bit better, in my opinion, against like man. But as you can see right here, you know, easy four to five yards. And the cool part about this is we can pair this with a couple of concepts on the backside. For example, we could um, we could do something like audible over to the, or not audible, but um, make these following adjustments as you see right here. This would be a great way to run this play because you have that high-low on the right, and then you also have that spacing concept on the left. That's been good for the last four years. So anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn my entire trips tight end offense for Madden 22, I would encourage you to text the word Madden uh, to 208-218-6900. And if you're looking for some Madden 22 content, I would encourage you to subscribe. Like I said, we upload videos every single day that are going to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, you can always hit me up via text message.